out to it. Boys basketball team has had a sensational season, one of the best in school history, and the Aztecs aren't ready for it to end just yet. District action tonight. Bobby Corazzini and the Aztecs taking on Maynard. First quarter, Maynard's Tommy Smith using the bank after dark. Rattles home at three. Tigers up by 13. Aspitz, Nick Hudson using the glass as well. And the Aztecs are down by 11. Aztecs, Gerald McManus behind the back to Jeff Hunter. Hoop in the harm. Aztecs down by six. Fans are fired up. So is Mike O'Brien, one of the all-time greats to come out of the city of Worcester. Maynard firing back. Ian Fowler, triple. Tigers up 11. Third quarter, Corey Olivier having a night. He hits it three. Maynard up by 14. But McManus and the Aztecs answering. Three ball corner pocket. You got it. And then it's McManus following his own shot. Beautiful job by McManus. Well coached. That's a great play. Aztecs down by nine. Late in the third. Asabitz, Hudson, the three. Asabitz is down by one. But that's as close as it gets. Olivier and Maynard, they win it 78-69. This year was just by far the most special year, and uh, I, I love these guys very much. I think they all know that. All of our assistant coaches uh, gave these kids 110% because that's exactly what they deserved, and that's what they gave to us. So it was really just a reciprocal thing all year. You know, we were giving them our best effort. They were giving us and each other their best effort. And what more can you ask for from a team, really, at the end of the day? What a great season for Aston, but congratulations to Bobby Corazzini and the Aztecs. Worcester Tech taking on Southbridge, boys hoop. D4 districts as well. First quarter, Josh Falero, the steal. He'll go the distance. Worcester Tech up by two. And it's Jose Bonilla. Long jumper. And the Eagles are up by six. Falero, the up fake. Steps up. Drills the jumper. Tech up by nine. More from the Eagles. Brendan Hamilton. Sweet reverse layup. Worcester Tech up by 11. Andrew Enlow then feeding Hamilton. The hometown throwdown. The rim rattler. Putting the Eagles up by 15. Zaire Peart finding Steven Rivera on the break. Worcester Tech starting the game on an 18 to 1 run. Yuri Mateo Rodriguez with a three. Southbridge down by 12. Second quarter. Pioneers Jared Figueroa with a three. Southbridge down by 11. Figueroa, deep three. Victor Florentino with a big time move. Hangs and hits. Worcester Tech gets the win 77 to 50. Your number one seed, Groton Dunstable taking on Hopkinton, Girls Districts, Division Two. First quarter, Groton Dunstable's Rachel Romick moving without the ball. The catch and shoot. Crusaders are up by one. Groton Dunstable's Chloe McDonald, the runner. Groton Dunstable up by three. Crusaders on the run. Abigail Hoy, the jumper. Groton Dunstable up by five. Hopkinton's Catherine Hubner. Three, and we're all tied up. Eleanor Eisenclam, the steal. Coast to coast, and that ties it up. Second quarter. Crusaders breaking. Eisenclam. Up for two, Groton Dunstables down by one. Buddha and his dad, Paul Phillips. Buddha, I'd hide two if I was related to that guy. I don't blame you. We kid because we care. Romick going off the glass for two, Groton Dunstable up by one. Hopkinton's Callie Corby with a three. Hopkinton up by two. Romick going strong to the hoop, ties it up. Hopkinton, though, wins it 43 to 39, your final. Former Burncoat standout, Tina Oliveri Seabury now. Leading Neshoba against Medway in the other D2 semi. Fourth quarter tied at 39 apiece. Neshoba's Abigail McNulty with the drive and finish. Chieftain's up two. 45 seconds left. Medway. Liz White with the three off the window. Medway's up one. 34 seconds left. Neshoba's Brianne Donahue at the line. Hits the first free throw to tie it up. The crowd's loving it. Donahue hits the second free throw. Neshoba up by one. Medway freshman Lauren Beach. The jumper. Medway up one with 16 seconds left. Neshoba running. Beach, huge block with one 
second left. Last chance for Neshoba. Beach steals the inbounds. Medway wins it 46 to 45. Patriot League quarterfinals tonight, women's basketball. And it was actually Holy Cross losing to Bucknell 67 to 53. Not Plattsburgh, but Holy Cross loses 67-53. Trisha Byrne, a senior, 16 points, four rebounds, three steals. Lauren Manis, a double-double, 17 points, 12 rebounds. Her 10th double-double of the season ties Kathy Courtney for eighth most all time. So that's the end of the Holy Cross women's basketball season. Now, Holy Cross men's hockey team hosting Robert Morris this weekend in the quarterfinals of the Atlantic Hockey Playoffs. The Crusaders earned a bye, so they are rested and ready for this series. Well, we worked really hard over the course of the regular season to get the home ice advantage and get the bye. We got a little bit of help at the end, which was which was always good. But, um, yeah, having a week off and then not having to travel this weekend, our guys were able to stay in their same routine, and we just uh, stay in our same routine. And we'll be ready. That We used last week kind of as a, as a work week, but also prepped the guys, gave them a couple days off, so we have really good legs, and we we're ready to go on Friday. The bye's been great because this this last week was our last week before spring break, and our guys get uh, flooded with a lot of schoolwork. So it was good last week to be able to give the guys a couple of days off so they could get organized with school and finish up um, their schoolwork, but also do a lot of work and you know get guys healthy that had some bumps and bruises. Always this time of year, guys are fighting some bumps and bruises, so it was good to give them a couple days off. And we took Sunday off, we took today off. So we'll be, we'll be ready, we'll be back at it tomorrow, and our, our legs will be fresh. And we have to prepare to maybe play three games in three nights. So you got to be able to balance off getting your work done, staying sharp, and also giving the guys rest, being ready for this weekend series. All right, so Holy Cross, Robert Morris, quarterfinals of the Atlantic Hockey Playoffs. Game one, Friday night at the Hart Center, 7 o'clock. Game two, Saturday night at the Hart Center at 7. And if necessary, a game three would be on Sunday at the Hart Center as well. So the Crusaders are rested. That is big in this tournament. Rested mentally, physically, and ready to go. But this Robert Morris team is real, real good. Rest is what they need to get yes. the win. Oh, you need it. You need it. Your goalie's <laughs> rested and ready. That's the biggest thing. Paul Barifato, who's just been a brick wall for him, he has started 100 consecutive games. So you got a senior and a leader back there who's good mentally, good physically. You're in a good position. Unbelievable. Well, that's going to do it for us here on Worcester News Tonight. For Kevin Shea, I'm Anna Botari. We'll see you tomorrow.